After decades of civil war in southern Sudan, the return of peace is allowing health workers to strengthen their fight against guinea worm disease. Guinea worm is contracted by drinking contaminated water. The worms grow in the body for about a year, then emerge slowly through painful skin blisters. Incapacitating and sometimes crippling its victims. As a result of a campaign to eradicate it, Guinea worm has now retreated to only a few African countries. It afflicted millions two decades ago, but last year fewer than 10,000 cases were reported, most of them in Sudan. Sudan is the last big bastion of Guinea worm disease in the world, and therefore is the most important repository of, of Guinea worm disease uh, anywhere. In southern Sudan, health workers from the Carter Center, based in Atlanta, are working with government authorities to attack Guinea worm where it thrives, in poor villages that rely on contaminated water. Their strategy includes public education to prevent contamination, supplying millions of water filters, applying safe chemical treatment to water sources, and providing safe water from underground wells. People in these villages say they once believed guinea worm was caused by witchcraft or by eating spoiled meat. But now they understand the origin of the parasite that has tormented them for thousands of years. And once you train these men, then you can come and get with and them. Communities are cooperating with health authorities to isolate the disease, breaking the life cycle of the guinea worm and driving it to extinction. That's the goal of the Carter Center, working with a coalition of governments, international agencies and private donors. And if this progress continues, in a few years, guinea worm is likely to make its last stand here in southern Sudan.